Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. We're going to get into solving equations. And this is, of course, uh, towards the end of the video series, we've been talking about single-step equations, two-step, even multi-step equations. But now it's time to focus on word applications, word problem applications. So we're going to take a look at some uh, story problems. And I'm going to show you some uh, little tips about how to correctly read it and analyze it so that you can come up with the right equation and solve. As always, if you think you know what to do, hit pause on this video and you try it yourself first on paper. Then I will kind of walk you through how to do it. Number 15, a wise man once said, 400 reduced by four times my age is 60. What is his age? Well, let's kind of look at some key words here. Well, reduced by, if you look at that, of course, most of the time that means subtraction. You're taking something away. And four times my age, of course, is multiplication. And what is his age? So if we focus on the question itself, age, let's go ahead and call that A, make it pretty obvious here, and four times my age. Let's go ahead and translate this in an equation. 400 reduced by four times my age, and we'll show that algebraically, of course, with 4a, is, that's equals, most of the time in a math word problem, and now we have our equation. So it's a multi-step equation, actually two steps. Let's solve it. As mentioned in a previous video, um, we find the 400 is the number that we have to get rid of first. That's called the free number because it is on the variable side with the a, but is not attached like the 4 is. So to get rid of a positive 400, of course, we're going to subtract 400. Now it looks like, uh-oh, we're going to have some negative results here, but it all works out. You'll see. So 60 take away 400 is negative 340. Divide each side by the negative 4. Okay, remember the sign in a multiplication or division always has to be exactly the same. So let's find out the final answer. So we should get 85 years old, a wise old man. Let's check it though. That's the last step. Always substitute it in. So 400 reduced by 4 times his age. We have to figure out what 4 times 85 is. Okay, and so 400 take away 340 does indeed give us 60 as mentioned in the question. All right, number 16. If you haven't tried this yet, you should. And let's kind of take a look at some of the important words of the question. Lisa rented a bike from Ashley's Bikes. It cost $14 plus $5 per hour. If Lisa paid $34, then she rented the bike for how many hours? All right, if we translate this into an equation, it says $14 plus $5 per hour. And although per sometimes means division, in this case, if it's a cost of something per hour, in this case, that's multiplication. So let's go ahead and say R is the rental for hours. Okay, and I guess I could use H instead, but let's say rental hours. Now that equals how much she actually paid, which is $34. We're going to subtract the 14, which is the free number, similar to the problem before. And obviously the reason why we did that is so that we have the 5R by itself. So 5R equals 20 and R must be 4. 
And if you reread the question there, it says how many hours, so it'd be our label there, four hours. Again, we want to check our answer, so let's put it in there. $14 plus $5 per hour, well five times the four hours we have, of course, would be 20. So that's $14 plus $20, and yes, that does give us 34 is what she paid for the rental. All right, now the next video is four other problems just like this. They'll get a little bit harder, but check that out. How to solve equations, and this will be word application problems. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.